Curious whether a sleek, futuristic EV or a classic petrol engine is the better ride for you? It's a tough choice, but once we break it down, the answer might surprise you. Get ready for the ultimate battle of the engines, and welcome to EV Frontier, where we settle the score between electric and petrol power. The debate between electric vehicles, EVs, and petrol-powered cars has been heating up for years. As technology evolves and environmental concerns take center stage, drivers are faced with a critical choice. Stick with the tried-and-true gasoline engine or switch gears to the world of EVs. EVs. Both sides have their advocates, but the question remains, are you ready to make the leap into an electric future, or does the rumble of a petrol engine still hold a place in your heart? From purchase cost and maintenance to long-term savings and resale value, we'll break down everything you need to know about EVs versus petrol cars to help you make the best choice for your lifestyle and wallet. Let's start with the most obvious difference, the price tag. When you're comparing similar models, electric cars almost always come with a heftier upfront cost compared to their petrol counterparts. Take the Hyundai Kona, for example. The electric version of this popular crossover starts at around $69,990, while the petrol model begins at $39,990. That's a whopping $30,000 difference, and for many people, that's enough to push them toward the petrol option right off the bat. But here's the twist. Although electric cars are more expensive at first, they can offer significant savings over time thanks to lower running costs. We'll dive into that more later, but this upfront investment can pay off down the road, making the initial sticker shock a little less painful if you play the long game. Another factor to consider is how you plan to finance your car. Banks and lenders often offer green loans or eco-friendly financing options with lower interest rates for those who choose electric vehicles. While this can make your EV purchase more affordable, it's still crucial to crunch the numbers to ensure you're not stretching your budget too thin. One of the biggest advantages of EVs is how much cheaper they are to operate. If you're used to filling up your petrol tank and watching your wallet shrink, you'll be pleasantly surprised by the difference in energy costs. For every 100 kilometers driven, a typical petrol car costs around $18, while an EV only costs about $2.79. That's six times less. Over a year, if you drive 10,000 kilometers, you'd be spending about $1,800 on petrol compared to just $280 for electricity. With savings like that, it's easy to see how EVs start to make sense financially, even if they come with a higher purchase price. Plus, as gas prices continue to fluctuate and often trend upwards, electricity costs tend to be more stable. The stability is another bonus when you're planning your long-term budget. However, before you get too excited, keep in mind that EV owners often need to install a home charging station, which can set you back a few thousand dollars. Although this is a one-time cost, it's something to factor in, especially if you want the convenience of charging at home. Public charging stations are becoming more common, but depending on your driving habits, home charging might be the best way to keep your EV running smoothly. Another area where electric vehicles shine is maintenance. Petrol cars have a lot of moving parts, engines, transmissions, exhaust systems, and the list goes on and on. Each of these components requires regular maintenance and can eventually need costly repairs. EVs, on the other hand, are much simpler. They don't have oil that needs changing, no spark plugs, no exhaust system, and fewer components that can wear out over time. The result? Lower maintenance costs and fewer trips to the mechanic. A typical petrol car can cost thousands of dollars to maintain over its lifetime, while an EV is likely to be significantly cheaper to keep on the road. This reduction and maintenance cost is one of the most compelling arguments for choosing an electric vehicle, especially if you plan to own your car for a long time. When it comes to resale value, the numbers might surprise you. While petrol-powered cars depreciate over time, electric vehicles tend to hold their value better. On average, a five-year-old EV will retain around 50% of its original purchase price, while a comparable petrol car will only hold about 43% of its value. So even though you're spending more up front for an electric car, you could end up getting more of that money back when it's time to sell or trade in. This higher resale value, combined with lower fuel and maintenance costs, can make EVs a better long-term investment than they might appear at first glance. Of course, we can't talk about electric vehicles without mentioning the environment. EVs are often hailed as the solution to reducing our carbon footprint, and for good reason. When you drive an electric car, you're not emitting harmful pollutants like carbon dioxide, which contributes to climate change. And as the electricity grid becomes greener, thanks to more renewable energy sources like wind and solar, charging your EV becomes even more environmentally friendly. Petrol cars, on the other hand, continue to produce emissions throughout their lifespan. Even if you drive a fuel-efficient model, you're still contributing to air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions. If reducing your environmental impact is a priority for you, an EV is the clear winner in this category. While petrol cars are known for their power and performance, EVs are quickly catching up and in some cases surpassing them. Thanks to their electric motors, EVs can deliver instant torque, which means quicker acceleration off the line. That's why you'll 
see Teslas and other high-end electric models competing in performance categories that used to be dominated by petrol-powered vehicles. One of the biggest concerns potential EV owners have is charging. Unlike petrol cars, which can be refueled in a matter of minutes, electric vehicles take longer to charge. A typical home charging station can take several hours to fully recharge an EV, and even the fastest public charging stations can't compete with the speed of a gas pump. However, many EV owners find that charging overnight at home is more convenient than making regular trips to the gas station. If you have a predictable daily commute and access to charging stations at work or in public spaces, the charging process can be seamlessly integrated into your routine. That being said, if you frequently take long road trips or live in an area without reliable access to charging infrastructure, a petrol car might still be the more convenient option. The infrastructure for electric vehicles is growing rapidly, but it's not yet as widespread as traditional gas stations. So, which should you choose? An electric vehicle or a petrol-powered car? The answer depends on your priorities. If you're looking for long-term savings, lower maintenance costs, and a smaller environmental footprint, an EV is the clear winner. But if you're concerned about upfront cost, charging infrastructure, or just love the feel of a petrol engine, a traditional car might still be the way to go for now. That said, the tide is turning in favor of electric vehicles. With falling prices, better technology, and increasing government incentives, EVs are becoming more accessible than ever before. In just a few years, we might reach a point where the cost difference between EVs and petrol cars disappears entirely, making the decision even easier. Whether you're ready to embrace the electric future or stick with what you know, there's no denying that EVs are here to stay. They offer long-term savings, lower maintenance costs, and a cleaner, quieter ride. But petrol cars still have their place, especially for those who aren't quite ready to give up the convenience of quick refueling and the roar of a traditional engine. In the end, the choice is yours. So which one will you drive into the future? So which side are you on? Are you ready to plug into the future with an EV or is the roar of a petrol engine still calling your name? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you enjoyed this showdown, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more fun car comparisons and smash that notification bell so you never miss an update. See you on the road or at the charging station.